I'm going to show you how to track utility, income, and expense on your rental units. So here we are. Okay, so let's look up utilities and see what we've got. Okay, so someone asked me to explain this. So right now what we have is apartment one, two, three on building one, and we have expenses, but we don't have anything for income. Okay, what you're gonna do is, I'm in chart of accounts, you can take this away. But let's say you're gonna track the money coming in and then the money going out on each unit and that way you can make sure you fully collected anything they owe you. This is basically for a reimbursement of utilities. Okay, so we're gonna set up income. I usually put everything under service fee. I said we were gonna do building one. So you want to keep, um, okay, so we have rental income. Actually, let's not make a sub and let's make one called utility income. I do this for my own rental. She um, reimburses me for the oil because I don't trust renters. It's a house and I don't trust a renter to not run the tank um, dry, so I charge. I pay the bill and then just get reimbursed. Okay, so we're gonna do save and new utility income. Then we would do building one, just how we had on the other one, but I'm only gonna do one building. Building one utilities. Utility, not expenses. See how you gotta be careful. I think it was unit one, unit two. Okay. Utility income building one, then we'll do unit one utility income. I think it's good when you've got a lot of the same names going on to really make it easy. Unit two. And then we'll do unit three. Oh, and I didn't, you should kind of try and keep them the same. I didn't. So now if you go up here to utility. So now, like I always say, Set up your accounts, your income or expense accounts first. Now, if you were going to invoice your tenant, then you would need to make an item. And I would in I would put it utility one, utility two, unit three. Utility one, you know what I mean. So here it is, utility income unit one. See how they're matching? Unit one, unit one. And even here you could put unit one utility. This is what the tenant would see. Save in new. Unit two utility charge. Utility. Unit two, so you always make sure they match. And use this for everything. Gas, water, electricity, anything. Don't go any crazier than this. Now, if I was doing both buildings, you'd have to maybe get that a little clearer. Okay. All right. So we called those unit ones. Here I'm calling them apartment one. Hmm. Anyway. Let me show you one other thing that's kind of a good thing is you can change that so it doesn't say customers. And you can 
have it say tense. I need to come here. Here we go. Click this little pencil and click tenants. So I'm just going to show you how one would work. You only need to see one, and then you'll understand the whole process. Okay, so we're going to we're going to go to tenants. We're going to find like apartment one. Okay, here's Bob Jones. We're going to pretend that. No, let's do Sue Smith. And look here, see how I have this date in front of the name? Just so you know why I've done that. That's so I know when their lease is expiring. That way you don't forget to do a rent increase. Okay, so let's give Sue Smith apartment two. We're gonna pretend she's in building one. Okay, so Let's see what we have. Apartment two. We'll just say monthly rent $2,500. This is if you were putting them, I'm just kind of showing you this. So unit two utility charge. Okay. And let's say that that's $250. Okay. And we'll do it for today's date. Save and close. Then I'm going to go here and receive payment and pretend she paid me today. Just so we can run a PL. Okay. Save and close. Okay, I like to use this over on the top left. Let's say. We paid online to a utility company. One thing I see is that these should say utilities in them because when you go to type it, it's too confusing. So, and then type expense. If you can fit it, write it. Okay, because what I'm seeing is as we get more detailed, it can be harder to find the right code and you don't want to be writing your checks to an income code all because you can you weren't sure can't spell okay let's go back up here So that was unit two we were doing, so utilities. And I think we charged 250. And we're gonna pretend the other is just a, a perfect reimbursement. And now I'll show you what this would look like on your monthly report. Okay, so here it shows your rental income and the amount you are paid for the utilities, and now it shows you the expense. So now you're back to your income being just your rent. And this is a good way if you do this month over month in different units. If you saw one of them, if your utility expense and your utility income don't match, then you know there's someone you haven't been reimbursed by. And this is also cash basis. So this would be who's really paid you or not. Um, so I would just make sure, you know, keep your rental income. 
its own piece and then do your utility income second, all right? And then it would probably look better if this said maybe apartment to utility instead of unit to, but either way, you're getting the point, 250 in income, 250 in expense, you've been fully reimbursed by your tenant for a utility. All right, I hope this helps. Have a great day.